T-Pain went from being a struggling musician to earning 13 Grammy nominations for his auto-tuned songs about women and partying. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. And I'm T-Pain. You know me. I'm big music, baby boy. One person who had a front row seat to witness all the highs and lows is his wife, Amber. Although they've built a beautiful life together, it wasn't easy. They've dealt with betrayal and a baby conceived outside their marriage. And some people might even define their relationship as struggle love. Here's the truth about their marriage. Juicy, tender, and packed with so much flavor. Check out our new selection of brisket beef jerky, available in lemon pepper, smoky Texas barbecue, volcanic jalapeno, and more. Visit rrgsnacks.com to purchase a bag, or two, or three. During a December 2002 visit to Panama City, Florida, 18-year-old T. Payne had his first encounter with 21-year-old Amber Wyatt. T-Pain was a budding musician while Amber was enlisted in the Air Force. You came down because it was your sister's birthday. Yeah. Then we went to a party at my sister's house and my other friend went over to him and was like, hey, she likes you. And he was like, yeah, right. We were following the chicks back to their place in the dude's car. So all of us was like, bro, we about to fuck all these bitches in the other car telling my sister I'm gonna marry him Absolutely. also I was the only one that ended up fucking, so you know <laughs> in an Instagram post T-Pain said he asked for her number she wrote her digits down on a piece of paper along with a hotel room number where she was staying while she was temporarily stationed at the nearby Air Force Base T-Pain must have had a good feeling about their first encounter because he has held on to that piece of paper to this day in September 2003, after less than a year of dating, they became husband and wife. Even though he was raised in a Muslim household and Amber was brought up as a Christian, they were determined to find some common ground to make their marriage work. In an Instagram post, T-Pain said they struggled during the early part of their marriage because he wasn't making that much money. They also had to deal with the naysayers who thought they rushed to the altar. He gave some advice to other women by stating, Ladies, I've said it before, keep them bitter thoughts out of your ear. If you feel the love in your heart, don't question it. Six months after tying the knot, they welcomed their daughter, Lyric. The birth of their first child wasn't the only thing they were able to celebrate. That same year, T-Pain began experimenting with Auto-Tune. Auto-Tune is a pitch, uh, pitch correction software that basically, I mean, it makes it sound good. But at the same time, I used it incorrectly and turned my voice into an instrument. So, you know, I feel like that caught on and it, it turned into something completely different that we can only define as a new era of music. He wrote a song for Amber entitled Sprung. He was also involved with a rap group called Nappy Heads and they recorded songs over popular artists' beats, such as the instrumental for Akon's song, Locked Up. Both Sprung and Locked Up began circulating around the music industry, but despite the increased attention, T-Pain described that period of his life as horrible because they were so broke. Because he dropped out of school in the eighth grade, he didn't think he had too many options in terms of finding a high-paying job, so he headed out to the local McDonald's to pick up an application. On his way there, he received a call from Akon, and the rest is history. His debut album was released in 2005 on Akon's Convict Music record label. T-Pain single-handedly popularized the use of auto-tune, although he has caught some flack for it in recent years. As of this video, he has released six albums, has appeared in several television and movie projects, and has performed across the globe. At the start of his career, his newfound fame went straight to his head. He told Sister to Sister magazine, I would just go and do leisurely things and pretty much I would venture off with other women. In January 2007, he and Amber welcomed their second child, a son named Music. And four months later, T-Pain welcomed another son with someone else. Elisa Hood, also known as Miss Cherry, gave birth to a baby named Kingston on May 11, 2007. 
The child's birth was kept on the down low until Miss Cherry joined the VH1 reality series Ego Trips Miss Rap Supreme. After appearing on the program, Miss Cherry told All Hip Hop it was no big deal that T Pain was her baby's daddy. She added, I don't think it'll be the first or the last time somebody had a baby, so it's really not that serious. It is what it is. Instead of Amber packing up and leaving T-Pain for breaking their vows, the incident appears to have brought them closer together. He told Sister to Sister magazine he did some major soul searching. He added, I saw the importance of what I had in my family and my wife, somebody that was there to love me for me and not somebody to love me because I was T-Pain. After coming to that eye-opening revelation, he made it his mission to become a better father and a better husband. It also helped that Amber had done some soul-searching herself, which led her to the realization that she and her husband had something in common. They both love women. While celebrating Amber's birthday in Costa Rica, they went to a gentleman's club. T-Pain told the fader that his wife revealed she was attracted to one of the dancers, and his wife was the one who suggested the three of them should have some fun. He said it was the first of many times that they had some three-way action. We, 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 we involve other people in our marriage sometimes. And uh, yeah, you better know it all right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, sometimes we, uh, we, we, we have uh, e e extraordinary partners, um, you know, and we like to travel around the world, go to different strip clubs and see what those are about mm -hmm. and things like that. And sometimes the employees, we like to see what those are about too. Despite hooking up with other people together, T-Pain told Behind the Music they don't have an open relationship. They also have one rule. He's not allowed to hook up with women by himself because that would be considered cheating. In May 2009, they welcomed another son named Cadence, which officially made T-Pain the father of four children by two different women. At this point, things were going well in his professional life. While countless Americans were struggling to make it through the recession, T-Pain showed off his brand new purchase, a 197 karat diamond necklace that he purchased for $410,000. In a social media post, he bragged about being, quote, recession-proof. Along with the chain, he also revealed he owned 32 cars and his eldest child already had $4 million in her bank account. In his caption, he added, So don't judge me from what I buy. Judge me from what I do, because it's so many artists that put themselves before their family. One family member who allegedly wasn't reaping the benefits of T-Pain's fame and fortune was the child he shared with his former side chick, Miss Cherry. Two months after T-Pain flaunted his big chain, Miss Cherry took him to court and claimed she was barely making it by with the $2,000 monthly child support payments she was receiving for their son, Kingston. According to court documents, T-Pain offered to increase the payments an additional $500 per month. Miss Cherry denied the offer from the artist, who made an estimated $15 million the previous year. The plan was for them to head back to court so they could reach an agreement. The terms of the finalized monthly child support payment were kept confidential. But based on Miss Cherry's Instagram account, they appear to be living a comfortable life. She welcomed another child with an unknown man and has since gotten married. Sadly, there are no signs of T-Pain on Kingston's social media account. However, despite T-Pain's public absence, his son is already following in his footsteps and has a passion for making music. T-Pain later opened up about conceiving a child outside of his marriage during an interview with T.T. Torres. He said, I mean, there's always mistakes happening. Me being famous, I'm getting left and right temptations. We all got things we need to work on. In 2021, T-Pain and his wife celebrated 18 years of marriage, and their relationship appears to be stronger than ever. He told People magazine the key to their longevity has always been their willingness to listen to one another. We hope that tactic, in addition to the love they have for each other, keeps their marriage going strong for many years to come. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below, and thanks for watching RRG.